the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets, and have persecuted us, and please not God, and our adversaries to all men. First Epistle to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 15. Okay. <laughs> אז לא יספיק, גם משם עד שם לא יספיק לנו. אנחנו נצטרך להיות הרבה יותר. אלוקה, נו, בני אדם. עכשיו, הגויים אשם, כן? אלוקים עשה אותם בשביל שיעשו פה... בשביל ש... בשביל ל... 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 לשרת את היהודים. כל הגויים שאתה רואה ש... שיש בעולם, מהמיליארדים האלה, mm-hmm. הם הכל רק בשביל שהיהודים יהיה להם איזה תועלת. בבית הם ניגשים לסיר, אוכלים. אני לא אגש לסיר ככה לקחת, ככה לאכול. למה שאני מתנהג בשבילי, אתה מבין? בשבילי אני מתנהג כמו בן אדם. ואתה לא חושב שאתה לא חושב שגויים גם עושים אותו דבר? רגע. Nothing is more miserable than those people who never fail to attack their own salvation. When there was need to observe the law, they trampled it underfoot. Now that the law has ceased to bind, they obstinately strive to observe it. What could be more pitiable than those who provoke God not only by transgressing the law, but also by keeping it? On this account Stephen said, You stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart, you always resist the Holy Spirit, not only by transgressing the law, but also by wishing to observe it at the wrong time. St. John Chrysostom Against the Jews, homily 1, chapter 2, number 3. Many I know respect the Jews and think that their present way of life is a venerable one. This is why I hasten to uproot and tear out this deadly opinion. I said that the synagogue is no better than a theater, and I bring forward a prophet as my witness. Surely the Jews are not more deserving of belief than their prophets. You had a harlot's bro, you became shameless before all. Where a harlot has set herself up, that place is a brothel. But the synagogue is not only a brothel and a theater, it also is a den of robbers and a lodging for wild beasts. Jeremiah said, Your house has become for me the den of a hyena. He does not simply say of wild beast, but of a filthy wild beast. And again, I have abandoned my house, I have cast off my inheritance. But when God forsakes a people, what hope of salvation is left? When God forsakes a place, that place becomes the dwelling of demons. St. John Chrysostom against the Jews, homily 1, chapter 3. But at any rate the Jews say that they too adore God. God forbid that I say that. No Jew adores God. Who says so? The Son of God says so. For he said, If you were to know my Father, you would also know me but you neither know me nor do you know my father. Could I produce a witness more trustworthy than the Son of God? St. John Chrysostom, against the Jews, 
Homily One, Chapter Three, Number Two.